So these tires have to be addressed. Take a look at those. Totally dry rotted. Uh, unfortunately, in 8 inch rims, you cannot buy that I've been able to find for under like 150 bucks a tire a street tire. And even the ones that say street tire are still what they call bias ply, which is what the original tires were. They actually say bias ply right on them, um, which, as far as I'm led to believe, they're those trailer tires. Um, or designed the same way as trailer tires, anyhow. Um, so, I decided to go with trailer tires. Sue me. So, um, the inside of the rim here, I was going to take them to the tire shop and go that route, but I noticed these guys. And you can see that little seam right there, and the good news is, these are split rims with tubes, which means I should be able to just split the rims I've had some PV Blaster on the bolt heads for about a month, <laughs> about as long as I've had it, um, and uh, I should be able to just split them and put them on the put them on new. So over here, new goodies, three new tires, uh, tow master there, uh, just a trailer radial. All right, so this is what these wheels looked like, getting them torn apart. You can see there's some pretty bad scaling rust scale. It's really thick in places. It's actually one of these has a little spot that needs repair with a welder. But, if I back up here you can see what I've been up to. These ones are basically done. I gotta use the, um, you can see my grinder back there. First grinding them, um, but mostly on the inside. And then using that brush attachment over there to, um, that baby. <clears throat> to clean them up the rest of the way afterward and clean the front of them up. Uh, no time like the present to get them painted and uh, in keeping with the project I'll paint them that sunburst yellow so should be nice when it's all done. Okay so here are the parts for the wheels all painted up looking nice. There's obviously um, six halves there. Inside that one right there are the bolts, nuts, washers. I'm going to replace those I decided. I'm also going to paint those because they're just zinc and uh, I'm going to paint on the same yellow once I get them bolted together. Those are the new tubes. So the first step in this process is to get this tube inserted all the way into the tire. Which is a little trickier than it sounds because this is actually a pretty small gap until the tire is inflated. Just kind of work the edge of it in first. All the way around. And obviously this is going to be like a huge bubble on this one side until the whole thing is sucked in there. I'm trying to keep it relatively flat. Um, don't worry much about the valve stem just yet. As soon as it pumps up the tire, it's going to kind of present itself which side it needs to go on, which side of the split rim you need to put the hole in. So that's pretty much in. So I'm going uh, to put less than a pound of pressure in it right now. Really don't need very much at all. As you can see, that sucks it into the tire itself, um, which is kind of what you need. Um, you don't need to go too crazy, but you need to get enough air in here. When you press against the, the rim, it will... When you get this rim put in here, it looks like the valve stem needs to go on this side. So when you get this put in here, the first thing you do is try to get it worked in a little with, with your hands, and then... Uh, I've just been doing this. I've been taking my heel and my foot and uh, working it in a little. And the reason I put so much air pressure in it was to get it up off the floor a little so I could do this without it touching the floor. So I've got it, you know, started enough here. It's wider on one side than the other, but almost all the way in on this side. And then flip it over. You can see the tube is now clearing the split rim so it's not going to get sandwiched. In between the two, and these particular ones, you have to be careful that the holes line up because right there the lugs don't line up, but these ones do. So I just have to turn it until they all line up. And I wanted to be pretty, pretty darn sure they were all lined up. So um, I'm just going to do this one by hand. I'm not going to go crazy. And then take these threaded bolts, thread them in, and use them as a basically as a lever. Um, to get the two pieces sucked together. If I use these 
lug holes like I'm doing, um, I won't have to take anything out when I put these in. I'm gonna have to take them out. Okay, so here I'm at the stage where I've got two bolts threaded, um, and I've just sucked it together basically enough, making sure that all my holes lined up um, really well, and then I can put in those shorter thread bolts and these holes and tighten it together. And when I do that, it'll probably still be loose around the rim, which it is very loose right now, but obviously there's only a couple of pounds of pressure in it, or maybe even one pound of pressure. Um, and uh, once I get those tightened, I'll put the recommended pressure in this, and it should pop right Okay, so I'm going to fill it up with some air, and hopefully this will just pop right up onto the rim. Almost. Let me check my pressure. Only at like five pounds. About 25 psi right now. Beautiful. That seated it in perfectly. Alright, so while I was at it here, I figured I'd give you a little update. By the way, I did a little painting of those um, nuts and bolts so they would not rust. They look good. I'm going to mount them on these hubs. I'm still missing a hub for over there, and it is very troubling. Um, they're incredibly expensive to buy new, and I'm having a hard time tracking on a used one, so I'm probably just going to end up having to spend the money. I digress. Look down in here can't really see there's an all-new brake cylinder in there, but you'll see it on the other side, a new brake line, all the way to a new junction, a new rubber union. It's actually welded right to the frame. Um, by the next time I do brakes, uh, I think I can grind it off. <laughs> it's going to be a while. Over here, you can see the new cylinders, wheel cylinders. Obviously, there's one installed on each axle, or each wheel had to take a file to the end of the threads here because they're a little damaged on the axle but it'll still thread on after that um, following back to the the um, lines here brand new brake line all the way up all the way up to the floor that's missing right now and down inside of here difficult to see you can see the master cylinder now to get to that pretty much have to go in through these two blinker holes and it is not much fun I will tell you that um, you're kind of working blind uh, when you do it but it has to be done that's the only way to get there um, so a lot of good things have been done I got a lot of brand new brake lines going down here these happen to be rubber um, there's a steel one that it connects to those are actually two rubber lines. These are obviously not original parts. They're just stuff that I went to the store and said, this is what I need. Let's go through boxes. And they were very helpful in that. So, theoretically, as soon as I get that hub, I will have a rolling chassis again. I started to do a little bit of welding on uh, with crappy bed frame steel, but it's what I've got. You can start to get an idea of what the line of the vehicle is going to be. You can see that tapers back. I go back to the other side you can see how the line tapers here and then you see my cut that I made in the superstructure here made a, a narrow cut here and a straight cut here and this bar is going to extend all the way out to about here-ish um, that's about two feet well 18 inches at least maybe two feet at most and square off so it'll taper taper into what I'm hoping to be about the same width as a motorcycle license plate and that'll be the back. I'll put the lights on that. Um, so that's what the body's going to be. Um, so that's that. More updates to come. Thanks again for watching um, all these videos. I'm uh, really looking forward to getting this thing on the road. I'm actually not that far from it even though it looks like <laughs> it looks like not a lot's been done but a tremendous amount has been done. Um, so stay tuned. There'll be more videos on this series. Subscribe, like it, comment, feedback. Great. See ya. Thanks. Bye.